Hello to all my wonderful partners and friends all over the world. I'm here in Paris, France with some amazing people I would like for you to meet. There's a man I'm looking at right there from Algeria. Morocco, Morocco excuse Morocco. me, Morocco, his wife from Algeria. We're in a restaurant here. We just had a fantastic meeting. And I want you to meet this amazing man. The Lord is using him powerfully to win a lot of Imams, Muslim Imams. And it's really amazing what God is doing in Europe. To Jesus be the praise. And and you've got you've got uh, your own TV program. He speaks French, so we're going to have to need Marie to interpret. But uh, first, I'd like you to also meet my good friend, hello. Pastor Maxims, hello, hello. from Bulgaria. Tell him what's happening in Wonderful Bulgaria. to see you. Explosion of miracles and growth. Our church has been so blessed by Pastor Benny. and uh, By the Lord, my brother. By yeah. the Lord. Forget <laughs> Benny, please. Uh, of course, by the Lord, but we are so thankful. And uh, this is his wife. This is his lovely wife. Hello, everyone. Hello there to you, my dear. Pastor Max Sims is one of the most amazing young preachers in Europe. And the Lord is just doing some amazing things with you. Thank God. He Thank just God. got a new building in Sophia. I just moved to a new you place. You just moved. Miracles, signs and wonders. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> doing crazy miracles. Well, go ahead and tell them. Uh, I had a service just uh, a few days ago, a healing service with yeah. so many people healed. Uh, I began to minister in the prophetic. There was this man, he was quite negative towards our church. So he came to kind of, you know, check us out. Yeah. So there were a few hundred people there on a Wednesday night and I was ministering. And I began to give him a word of knowledge that uh, he had a problem, a serious problem with his back. And that's not like a deep word of knowledge, but I began to share about a belt that he had under his shirt. Wow. The man comes up, I pray for him, he gets touched, and I tell the people about the belt. He took off his shirt to, to show them the belt. I send him to, to the restroom to take off the belt and come back. A belt was supporting his, his back because he was in, you know, he had a serious problem. He goes, he takes off the belt, comes back completely, completely healed. It was a big shock. And he is, he was a person who was, you know, negative towards our ministry. And uh, I think that signs and wonders are coming back to the church. No doubt. I think that signs and wonders are coming back to the church, especially to provoke people to come back to God, to provoke people to come back to the supernatural, to provoke people to come to the real presence of the Lord. Listen, there are people with me here who are involved in the supernatural part of God. We're going to all pray for you. Let me turn the camera around. This is Pastor Dorothy. Pastor Dorothy is an amazing minister of the gospel. She has the largest church today in Paris. Uh, going for a bigger building yes. in, a, in a very beautiful location. This man behind her there that you're looking at is this amazing servant of the kingdom of God from Morocco and he is reaching Muslims on TV. Like real, real hard cases. Why don't you tell him about that? Be a pastor. About? Yeah, about the, this gentleman. His ministry? Oh, this gentleman has an amazing ministry, reaching out Muslims, not only Muslims, really strong Muslims, and also very famous Muslims in France. People who are, you know, in politics or in the artists, but very, very known. So through friendships, through relationships, love, he brings the gospel to them and turn their heart to Jesus and he sees amazing things going on. So it is very encouraging. Her and your husband, and you're listening to my voice because I would like you to see these amazing people. Why, why don't you come bring your chair closer, okay. dear brother. Uh, Raj, her husband, 
start at the church here in uh, in Paris, right. at the largest congregation running. He used to host all, all my crusades. Absolutely. Were hosted by your husband. From 91. From 1991. And he, in a prayer meeting, wrote, you were telling me he wrote his own sermon, he knew he would go home. Tell him, tell him. She found, after he passed away, she actually found the note on his desk that had what he was going to Whoa. preach about on Sunday. And that the first message, of January. the first of January, and that's the message that she preached right. after he passed. So he wow. knew he knew he was going to go home yeah. and wrote the message he that he wanted his wife to preach and this is his wife sitting yes. here after he had gone to be with, 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 with the Lord. And this lady is another powerful woman of God right there. This is the wife, Stan Abdali. She's from Algeria. She is his wife and both of them have this TV program here in Paris ministry to Muslims. That's incredible what's happening. It's, it's encouraging. You tell me brother. This is Henny, this is his restaurant. <laughs> and every time, by the way, every time we come here, Henny, Henny feeds us freely. God bless us, Ray. Yeah. Thank you, Henny. Thank you, Henny, and God bless you. Thank you so much. But Henny is a man of God. God is using him powerfully. And you tell our people what is what is the Lord doing through this man here. Because I'm from Egypt. It's the first time that I see someone who preached the gospel with such power. In our Muslim community. And he's not afraid. He knows that from one day to the other he could be killed. But he preached with power that is wonderful. And we Christians cannot do what he's doing right now. He preached the word of God truly with power and extraordinary power. And he brought a lot of Muslims to the Lord. And he brought a lot of Muslims to the Lord. Witnessing, you're witnessing to imams, very hard, hardline imams. Oh yeah. And you, you just said you, one of them was baptized last week. You baptized one of them. A mufti. A mufti. A what? A imam. A mufti. A mufti. What's the difference? Mufti is something different. Well, I know, but what? That's a mufti. Professor. But it's a teacher, teacher. someone Islamic teacher. Islamic teacher. Like a doctor. So a higher than Imam. Yes. 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 And he got converted? Yes. And baptized. And baptized. Yes. Parce que Dieu, il a guéri sa fille. Because God healed his daughter. Wow. Parce que le médecin, ce qu'il a dit quand j'étais là-bas. So the doctor told that person at Mufti. Qu'il a dit que dans quelques heures, ta fille va mourir. That your daughter is going to die within a few hours. Elle est toujours oh musulman. He was still Muslim. Appelé Saïd dans la so nuit. he called Saïd during the night. Et dit, que je dois faire? And, and he said, what do I do? And so Saïd told him, yeah. Saïd I dit, cannot do anything anymore. Yeah. Saïd you dit, need... So the doctor you told need... this Sahib. mufti, yeah. Yeah. his daughter will die in a few hours. Yes. He called you Saïd. Yes. Yeah. You yeah, told him you you you, you cannot do anything. He needs to ask God, yeah, and he was still he was still a Muslim. Yes, yes. yes. Right. And when he prayed, what happened? She was healed instantly, oh my God. and he asked in the name of Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The Mufti asked in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Wow. He yeah. prayed in the name of and Jesus. She was instantly healed. So you you told him yeah. to pray in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. Dear God, man, you're bold. Amen. You know, if you tell a mufti to pray in, in, in the name of Jesus, you die. 
But God saved your life by healing his daughter. Et sa fille est sortie au jour même à l'instant T, elle était guérie. Oh my God. Jesus wants to reveal himself. Jesus wants to reveal himself to these people. Doing amazing things. You know, I'm hearing things. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. La femme, la, la femme de Saïd. So, Saïd's wife. Elle tous les, inter tous les interviews, les témoignages. Tout. She records all the interviews and testimonies. Et, et la plupart des musulmans qui parlent de leur conversion. And most of the Muslims that are speaking about their conversion. surnaturel de Jésus. They literally saw Jesus come to them. Yeah. What we, like, how? Yeah, well, wait, wait, no, I want to hear from, from her. So you 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 interview you interview people yeah. Muslim people on the on the program. Okay, uh, I will try to, to tell you in English. Yeah. Some translation. Why don't you come closer so that people can can hear? Okay. So uh, because Saidi organized a conference uh, among uh, Muslim background builders, so they became Christian, and uh, I think uh, eighty percent of Muslims they became Christian because they have they had a vision of Christ. For example, uh, one of them he explained to me he was in Algeria, and his uh, old uh, um, brother. 10 years old, uh, in the middle of the, the living room, he went on the, sur le sol. Yeah, on the floor. On the floor. You mean he fell? Yes, he fell on the floor and he said, oh, uh, Jesus is here. Yeah. Um. So he saw him in the, in the room. Yeah. And uh, after all, his family became a Christian. Yeah. So he explained to me. And uh, I was very surprised to um, understand that the most, maybe 80% of them, they had a vision of Christ. For my story, my mom, she became Christian because uh, Jesus came in his bed, uh, in her bedroom. Her bedroom. I'm sorry, who's that? My mother. Your, your mom was a Muslim? Yeah. She was a Muslim. My father and my mom, from they Algeria. were Muslim from Algeria. So we grew up in France as a Muslim family. and. Uh, one day, uh, Christ came in the room of in the bedroom of my mom, and he told her, uh, "I am great." And you know, in uh, when you are Muslim, something very important. Yeah, that's right. You say Allah, is great. Allah great. Akbar. Yeah. Allah is great. And he said, "I am great." Hallelujah! Yes. 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 And she became a Christian. Wow. wow! And we are family of nine children, and uh, after that, six. Six of us, they became Christian. Yes. The Lord appeared to your mother. Yes. As a result, the family, wow. six of you became yes. born, born yes. again. Yeah. Yes. And your father too? Yes. Yeah. Just be before he died, he accepted Christ. Yes. But it was hard for, uh, for him to see my mother becoming Christian. Hmm? He said she became crazy, but wow. after he died, he accepted Christ. And, and, before, and, and now both of you and your husband, were you were Muslims, right? Yes. Said you were Muslim. Yes. Now you're ministering the gospel. Yes. On your own TV program here in France. Yes. Yeah. Reaching Muslims. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Of course. And they're getting saved. Yes. What a God. This is radical stuff. Pardon? This is radical conversions. How we need you in America now. <laughs> oh, in France. <laughs> and the world. <laughs> and we need you in France. Pardon? We need you in France. Well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> the top. I just Go want ahead. to add something. Uh, one of the reasons uh, Sain has a, a success among the radicals, it's because he is a um, Christian convaincu. Yeah, he's a, a convicted what? Christian. Yes, and it is very important for a Muslim to see a real Christian with a lot of conviction. Wow. Because yeah. if you don't have convict, uh, yes. conviction, they, they, they don't yeah. respect it's you. True what you said. Wow. Very and true. one of the respect is a uh, uh, Christian Christian. Yes. And also because he's proud to be a Christian. Yes. Even if he become from a, a Muslim background, he's very proud to be a Christian. And that's why they respect him, even the radical. You 
know, and they respect they respect me too. Yeah. Because they are not supposed to yeah. to to tell me uh, yeah. just goodbye, but they, they but, because but they respect him. Yeah. They respect, respect me. Also yeah. because you don't insult them. Yes. This is very important with yeah, Muslims. Yes. Do not yeah. insult their faith. Do not insult what they believe. Just love them. Yes. That's the key really, is loving. Yes. Islam, Islam says, I sincerely love all Muslims. I sincerely love all Muslims. Islam. I sincerely love all Muslims. J'aime sincèrement tous les Muslims. If you look at the letter of Islam, I... S L A S I love Muslims. So you have Muslim. to love them. When I was in Indonesia, mm -hmm. I had a big crusade in, 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 in Jakarta. Wow. We had a million people. It started because I went and met with the president at his house. And I said, Mr. President, I'm not going to preach religion. I'm not going to preach politics. I will preach the love of God. And that man got up out of his seat and said, I welcome you to my country. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's about the love of God, people. But a lot of preachers attack Muslims and they lose. Yes. Because yeah. Jesus doesn't attack anyone. No, never. Okay. Jesus is pure love. Huh? Yes. They attack Christians. Never. Oh, yeah. The, the, the ones who attack Muslims attack Christians too. So it's, it's, it's our responsibility to love them. Yes. The love of God is powerful. Amen, amen, amen. And that's what you're doing. Yes. You show the love of God, that's all you do. Of course, yes. It is, it is very important because most of the time we, uh, we see Muslims as the, uh, on dit, the enemy. Enemy? The enemy. The enemy. The enemies. Well, that's, the, we, we are that's a problem. Yeah. And we have no solution for them. We see yeah. them like enemies. But God, God told, told us to love them Amen. and it is very important and we have a mission as a Christian is to share the gospel with them not to reject them and to say oh they are bad and of course some of them they are bad but I think mm -hmm. The majority they are not bad. I know some very bad Christians too. <laughs> Believe me, I've met them, okay? Yeah. Yeah. But we also if they are bad we, we have There's to bad people them. everywhere, yeah. okay? But 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 I'm, look look Guys, I grew up with Muslims in Israel, and most of them were wonderful people, generous, yeah. generous kind, who grew up with us. They, they were in the same schools with me, in our neighborhood, loving, sweet people who, who, who just wanted to live. So, Amen. All we have to wow. do is love them. Thank you. And, and thank no, no, so I thank you. We all thank you for reach and your wife. We thank you both for reaching out to Muslims with love. Because that's the love of Jesus. That's the way he is. And I want you watching uh, Facebook. You're listening to my voice behind right now. But pray for this man. Now, you're a pastor or an evangelist? Sai. Me? Yeah. I'm Christian. Christian. <laughs> Saeed. Okay. His, his name is Saeed. <laughs> joy. And Saeed means, means joy in Arabic, by the way. I'm Saeed. So this is Saeed, and your name is? Fatima. Wow. Even if I become a Christian, I'm still Fatima, and I love Christ. Amen. Fatima, who loves Jesus. Yes. And Saeed, who loves Jesus. Yes. And Pastor Dorothy loves yes. Jesus. Yes. Dorothy in France nous encourage beaucoup et il nous faut beaucoup de femmes comme elle en France. On aime beaucoup Dorothy. Say it again in, in, in English now. Dorothy has been encouraging us and we yeah. need a lot of women like her to continue yes. to encourage them. And please pray for our friend Pastor Dorothy who, who needs favor with the government to, to get a piece of property to build a 3,000 seater church. Absolutely. To host two. Huh? <laughs> to host two. I'll be them too. Yeah. She already has a church seat about 1,500, some, some of them, but it's in the wrong neighborhood, so she's going for double the size. And this is her sweet mother right there. Yes. Her mom is 70. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. When you are here, she looks in her 50s. Okay. In her 70s. She, she doesn't want to tell her she, age. She, oh, she oh, doesn't say. I, I, yeah, I'm in trouble now. Brother. Anyways. But she told us earlier. She's 50 years 
years old. Oh, 50 years old. Okay, one of them. Yes. <laughs> when, when I'm in my, in my, your age, I pray I will look as good as you do, darling. And, and that's Marie's mom over there. Yeah. Wave at him, darling. Salut tout le monde. She's a saint of God. And these ladies are all intercessors. Why don't you turn around, ladies? Turn around. And just wave. And that's Pastor Emil. And Pastor yes. Emile, where are you yes. from, brother? Here, he lives in Paris. He has oh, a church Paris. In You've Paris. got a church in Paris? Yes, yes. The St. Emile came in Giza, Paris. I'm meeting some of the loveliest pastors and people and intercessors in, in France and my dear brother, Pastor Messin from Bulgaria and his wife. And this is uh, dear Pastor Dorothy's son. And Louis. And who is the leader right next to you guys? Oh, your assistant. Okay. Great. Well, that's, and Henny and Michael, thank you. Listen, can we I want to turn the camera around. Can we? Thank you, thank you. Can we pray for the elections in France? Yes. Yes. Because the elections now, you, you just had. Uh, the first round. What's no? What, what are the names of the candidates? Uh, Macron and Le Pen. Macron and Le Pen. Emmanuel Macron and Le Pen. Marie Le Pen. Now Marie Le, Le Pen is very hard liner from what I hear. Yeah. She's but the right, right she's wing. Like extreme right wing. Okay. Let's just believe God that the right person will win the election. Can we lift our hands and pray in the Holy Ghost? Out loud. Would you, Pastor, would you pray? I want to turn the camera on you. Would you pray? in French, and we'll agree with you, that the right person will win the election in France. Okay guys, let's just pray, come on. In, 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 you, you guys, all of us pray in tongues, and Pastor Saïd pray in French. Seigneur, on veut vraiment te bénir parce que nous savons, Seigneur, que tu aimes la France, tu aimes ce pays. Seigneur, peu importe, Seigneur Jésus, que ça soit à gauche ou à droite, Seigneur, tu Amen. es au-dessous de la, de la pollution. Et Seigneur, nous voulons vraiment bénir ce pays, nous voulons déclarer des paroles de bénédiction. Amen. Seigneur, toi, tu choisiras, Seigneur, cet homme ou cette femme. Et Seigneur, tu béniras ce pays économiquement, matériellement, spirituellement. Amen. Parce que ce pays, la France, a besoin surtout de ta spiritualité. Seigneur Jésus, nous voulons véritablement que ta pluie, l'onction, la puissance de l'esprit, descende véritablement sur la France. Nous avons nous avons besoin d'un rafraîchissement, d'un attouchement divin de ta part. Nous avons véritablement besoin aussi de ton onction fraîche. Véritablement, nous croyons, Seigneur Jésus, dans la politique. Nous croyons dans le social, mais nous croyons dans des valeurs spirituelles. Et nous ne pouvons pas, Seigneur, écrire, Seigneur, l'histoire de la France avec une gomme. Cette France, Seigneur Jésus, a une histoire judéo-chrétienne. Et nous voulons déclarer la vie, déclarer la puissance, déclarer, Seigneur Jésus, véritablement la vie sur ce pays. Amen. Listen, we, we feel the anointing on you. Stretch your hands towards this phone and pray for the people. Can you pray in English? It's difficult for me in English. My English is not perfect. Okay, pray, pray My wife, in, she, speak, she, she prayed in English. Pray in French. You yeah. interpret, Marie. Okay. Go, please, come on. For the, stretch your hand oh, uh, towards the people and pray for them. Okay. Seigneur, maintenant, dans le nom de Jésus, à quel point je ressens ta présence. Seigneur, tu es hors du temps et de l'espace. Maintenant, tu touches les cœurs. Tu guéris par la puissance de l'Esprit. Seigneur, tu es toujours le même. Hier, hier, aujourd'hui, éternellement. Seigneur, je déclare ce qui est dans le ciel. Il est sur la terre. Et Seigneur, à la croix, à la croix, Seigneur, tu as tout accompli. Et dans ce tout accompli, Seigneur, nous voulons recevoir cette dimension spirituelle. Dans le nom de Jésus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Maintenant. Maintenant. Et on bénit, Seigneur, tout le peuple aux États-Unis. Seigneur, tous ceux qui sont en Amérique. Seigneur, nous les bénissons dans le nom de Jésus. Nous les bénissons dans le nom de Jésus. Et nous bénissons tous nos frères qui sont au Moyen-Orient. Dans le nom de Jésus. Seigneur, tu te révèles à travers des rêves, des songes, Seigneur Jésus. Seigneur, tu viens bientôt. Maranatha, Jésus. Maranatha, Jésus. Tu reviens bientôt, Seigneur Jésus. Et nous voulons véritablement que tu touches le monde qui a besoin de toi, qui a soif de toi. Mais il se met qui a soif. 
انت المبارك انت السلطان يا رب باركنا يا رب انزل يا الروح انزل يسوع المسيح انت يا رب قدر على كل شيء باسمك يسوع المسيح باسمك يسوع المسيح بشكرك يا رب بشكرك امين You prayed in French, you prayed in Arabic, you prayed for the people's healing, you prayed for everything. Can we please shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Wow, to Jesus be the praise. I didn't expect all that, but wow, wow, wow. Thank you. My wonderful partners, I am blessed right now. I am blessed. That was your surprise for tonight. I am amazed by his anointing. Wow, thank you. Jesus, we give you the praise, and the people of God said, Amen. My guys, see you again. Love you. Bye bye. That's amazing.